The 14th Air Force 14 AF, Air Forces Strategic is a numbered Air Force of the United States Air Force Space Command AFSPC. It is headquartered at Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. The command is responsible for the organization, training, equipping, command and control, and employment of Air Force Space Forces to support operational plans and missions for U.S. combatant commanders and their subordinate components and is the Air Force component to U.S. Strategic Command for Space Operations. Established on 5 March 1943 at Kunming, China, 14 AF was a United States Army Air Forces combat air force activated in the Asiatic Pacific theater of World War II. It engaged in operations primarily in China. After World War II, 14th Air Force subsequently served Air Defense Command, Continental Air Command, and the Air Force Reserve (AFR). Http colon slash slash www.afrc.af.mil slash 14 AF is commanded by Major General Stephen N. Whiting. Its Command Chief Master Sergeant is Chief Master Sergeant. Patrick F. McMahon. Topic. Overview In 1993, 14th Air Force became part of Air Force Space Command responsible for performing space operations. As the Air Force's sole numbered Air Force for space and its concurrent United States Strategic Command mission of joint space operations, the operational mission of 14 AF includes space launch from the east and west coasts, satellite command and control, missile warning, space surveillance and command and control of assigned and attached joint space forces. The overall mission is control and exploit space for global and theater operations, thereby ensuring warfighters are supported by the best space capabilities available. In 1997, 14 AF established the Space Operations Center at Vandenberg AFB in California for the 24-hour command and control of all space operations resources. In 2002, 14 AF became the Air Force Space Operational Component of United States Strategic Command. In 2005, 14 AF officially opened up its newly renovated operations center. The new command and control capabilities of the Joint Space Operations Center ensured unity of effort for all space capabilities supporting joint military operations around the globe. Topic: <laughs> Component wings and groups. 614th Air and Space Operations Center, operates Joint Space Operations Center 21st Space Wing, Peterson Air Force Base, Colorado 30th Space Wing, Vandenberg Air Force Base, California 45th Space Wing, Patrick Air Force Base, Florida 50th Space Wing, Schriever Air Force Base, Colorado 460th Space Wing, Buckley Air Force Base, Colorado History World War II Topic. First American Volunteer Group 
with the United States' entry into World War II against the Empire of Japan in December 1941. Claire Chenault, the commander of the American Volunteer Group ABG, known as the Flying Tigers of the Chinese Air Force was called to Chongqing, China, on 29 March 1942, for a conference to decide the fate of the ABG. Present at the conference were Chiang Kai-shek, his wife, Madame Chiang Kai-shek, Lieutenant General Joseph W. Stilwell, commander of all U.S. forces in the China-Burma-India theater, and Colonel Clayton L. Bissell, who had arrived in early March. Bissell was General Henry H. Hap Arnold's choice to command the USAAF's proposed combat organization in China. As early as 30 December 1941, the U.S. War Department in Washington, D.C., had authorized the induction of the Flying Tigers into the U.S. Army Air Forces. USAAF. Chenault was opposed to inducting the Flying Tigers into the Army. Stilwell and Bissell made it clear to both Chenault and Chang that unless the ABG became part of the U.S. Army Air Force, its supplies would be cut off. Chenault agreed to return to active duty but he made it clear to Stilwell that his men would have to speak for themselves. Chiang Kai-shek finally agreed to induction of the ABG into the USAAF, after Stilwell promised that the fighter group absorbing the induction would remain in China with Chenault in command. With the situation in Burma rapidly deteriorating, Stilwell and Bissell wanted the ABG dissolved by 30 April 1942. Chenault, wanting to keep the Flying Tigers going as long as possible, proposed the group disband on 4 July, when the ABG's contracts with the nationalist Chinese government expired. Stillwell and Bissell accepted. Topic: <laughs> China Air Task Force. Chenault was recalled to active duty in the USAAF on the 15th of April 1942 in the grade of Major General. Chenault was told that he would have to be satisfied with command a China Air Task Force of fighters and bombers as part of the 10th Air Force. Its mission was to defend the aerial supply operation over the Himalayan mountains between India and China, nicknamed the Hump, and to provide air support for Chinese ground forces. Bissell had been promoted to Brigadier General with one day's seniority to Chenault in order to command all American air units in China as Stilwell's air commander. In August 1942, he became commanding general of the 10th Air Force. Friction developed when Chenault and the Chinese government were disturbed by the possibility that Chenault would no longer control combat operations in China. However, when 10th Air Force Commanding General Louis Brereton was transferred to Egypt on 26 June, Stilwell used the occasion to issue an announcement that Chenault would continue to command all air operations in China. The CATF had 51 fighters in July 1942 to 31 Curtis 81A1 export tomahawks and P40B tomahawks and 20 P40E warhawks. Only 29 were flyable. The 81A-1s and P-40Bs were from the original 100 fighters China had purchased for use by the Flying Tigers. The P-40E Warhawks had been flown from India to China in May 1942 as part of the 23rd Fighter Group, attached to the AVG to gain experience and provide continuity to the takeover of operations of the AVG. 
Both fighters were good medium altitude day fighters, with their best performance between 15,000 and 18,000 feet, and they were excellent ground strafing aircraft. The 11th Bombardment Squadron medium, consisting of the 7B-25s flown in from India, made up the bomber section of Chenault's command. These 7B-25C Mitchells were the remnants of an original 12 sent from India. Four were lost on a bombing mission en route and a fifth developed mechanical problems such that it was grounded and used for spare parts. The AVG was disbanded on 4 July 1942, simultaneous with the activation of the 23rd FG. Its personnel were offered USAAF commissions but only five of the AVG pilots accepted them. The remainder of the AVG pilots, many disgruntled with Bissell, became civilian transport pilots in China, went back to America into other jobs, or joined or rejoined the other military services and fought elsewhere in the war. An example was Fritz Wolf who returned to the Navy with the rank of lieutenant, senior grade and assigned as fighter pilot instructor at the Jacksonville Naval Air Station in Florida, the 23rd Fighter Group with the 74th, 75th and 76th Fighter Squadrons, its table of organization rounded out by the transfer of men and P-40s from two squadrons of the 51st Fighter Group in in India. A fourth fighter squadron for the 23rd Group was obtained by subterfuge. In June and July 1942, Chenault got the 10th Air Force to relocate the 51st FG's 16th Fighter Squadron, commanded by Major John Allison, to his main base in Kunming, China, to gain combat experience. Chenault took them into the CATF, and never returned them. On 19 March 1943, the CATF was disbanded and its units made part of the newly activated 14th Air Force, with Chenault, now a major general, still in command. In the nine months of its existence, the China Air Task Force shot down 149 Japanese planes, plus 85 probables, with a loss of only 16 P-40s. It had flown 65 bombing missions against Japanese targets in China, Burma and Indochina, dropping 311 tons of bombs and losing only one B-25 bomber. The members of 14th Air Force and the U.S. press adopted the name Flying Tigers for themselves after the AVG's dissolution. Especially the 23D fighter group was often called by the same nickname. Topic: 14th Air Force. The 14th Air Force official web site says, After the China Air Task Force was discontinued, the 14th Air Force 14 AF was established by the special order of President Roosevelt on 10 March 1943. Chenault was appointed the commander and promoted to Major General. The Flying Tigers of 14 AF who adopted the Flying Tigers designation from the AVG conducted highly effective fighter and bomber operations along a wide front that stretched from the bend of the Yellow River and Sinan in the north to Indochina in the south, from Chengtu and the Salween River in the west to both East and South China Seas and the island of Formosa in the east. They were also instrumental in supplying Chinese forces through the airlift of cargo across the hump in the China-Burma-India theater. By the end of World War II, 
14 AF had achieved air superiority over the skies of China and established a ratio of 7.7 .7 enemy planes destroyed for every American plane lost in combat. Overall, military officials estimated that over 4,000 Japanese planes were destroyed or damaged in the China-Burma-India theater during World War II. In addition, they estimated that air units in China destroyed 1,100,000 tons of shipping, 1,079 locomotives, 4,836 trucks and 580 bridges. The United States Army Air Forces credits 14 AF with the destruction of 2,315 Japanese aircraft, 356 bridges, 1,225 locomotives and 712 railroad cars. Topic: <laughs> Chinese American Composite Wing. In addition to the core 14th Air Force 14 AF structure, a second group, the Chinese American Composite Wing, existed as a combined 1st Bomber, 3rd Fighter, and 5th Fighter group with pilots from both the United States and the Republic of China. U.S. service personnel destined for the CACW entered the China Theater in mid-July 1943. Aircraft assigned to the CACW included later series P-40 Warhawks with the Nationalist Chinese Air Force Blue Sky and 12-pointed White Sun National Insignia, rudder markings, and squadron, aircraft numbering and B-25 Mitchell medium bombers. In late 1944, USAAF marked P-51 Mustangs began to be assigned to CACW pilots. First P-51B and C series followed by, in early 1945, D and K series. The latter were a reduced weight versions sharing many of the external characteristics of the D series aircraft including the bubble canopy. All US pilots assigned to the CACW were listed as rated pilots in Chinese Air Force and were authorized to wear the pilot's wings of both nations. Members of the 3rd FG were honored with a Distinguished Unit Citation now Presidential Unit Citation for a sustained campaign, Mission A, in the late summer of 1944. Mission A halted a major Japanese ground offensive and resulted in the award of individual decorations for several of the group's pilots for the planning and execution of the mission. Most CACW bases existed near the boundary of Japanese-occupied China and one valley field existed in an area within Japanese-held territory. Specific field locations included Hancheng, Ankong, Haitian, Laohokof, Incha, Lengshan, Paishi, Chiang, Hengyang, Kuailin, Liuchao, Chanyi, Suichuan, and Lingling. Today, the 1st, 3rd and 5th groups of CACW are still operating in Taiwan, reorganized as 443rd, 427th and 401st Tactical Fighter Wings of the Republic of China Air Force. Topic: <laughs> World War II units. Topic. John Birch American missionary John Birch was recommended to Chenault for intelligence work by Jimmy Doolittle, whom he had assisted when Doolittle's crew landed in China after the raid on Tokyo. 
inducted into the 14th on its formation, and later seconded to the OSS, he built a formidable network of Chinese informants to provide the Flying Tigers with intelligence on Japanese land and sea military positions and the disposition of shipping and railways. He was killed by Chinese communists when he attempted to see a downed plane they had been assigned to guard ten days after the war ended, which led to him being chosen as the namesake of the John Birch Society. The incident is recounted in the memoir of Paul Frillman, China, The Remembered Life, who had started the war as the chaplain for the Flying Tigers. Topic. Air Defense Command In March 1946, USAAF Chief General Carl Spatz had undertaken a major reorganization of the post-war USAAF that had included the establishment of major commands MAGECOM, who would report directly to HQ United States Army Air Forces. Continental Air Forces was inactivated, and 10th Air Force was assigned to the post-war Air Defense Command in March 1946 and subsequently to Continental Air Command in December 1948 being primarily concerned with air defense. The command was reactivated on the 24th of May 1946 at Orlando Army Air Base, later AFB, Florida. It was originally assigned to provide air defense over a wide region of the southeast United States along the border of North Carolina, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Oklahoma, including Texas south to the Rio Grande. In addition to the command and control of the active Air Force interceptor and radar units in its region, it also became the command organization for the Air Force Reserve and State Air National Guard units. By 1949 with the establishment of the Western Air Defense Force WADF and Eastern Air Defense Force EADF, the air defense mission of the command was transferred to primary to the EADF, leaving 14th AF free to focus on its reserve training tasks. It was then reassigned to Continental Air Command and moved to Robbins AFB, Georgia, in October 1949. During the Korean War, 14 AF participated in the mobilization of Air National Guard and Air Force Reserve units and individuals from its headquarters at Robbins Air Force Base AFB, Georgia. After the Korean War, the reserve wings of 14 AF participated in various airlift operations, such as Operation 16 Tons, Operation Swift Lift and Operation Ready Swap. 14 AF was inactivated on 1 September 1960. 14th Air Force was reactivated on 20 January 1966, at Gunter AFB, Alabama as part of Air Defense Command with the inactivation of its organization of air defense sectors. Its area of responsibility was essentially the same as its 1948 region, with its region shifted slightly west to include New Mexico. Eastern North and South Carolina were under the reactivated 1st Air Force. On 16 January 1968 Air Defense Command was re-designated Aerospace Defense Command as part of a restructuring of USAF Air Defense Forces. The command was re-designated as 14th Aerospace Force on 1 July 1968 and moved to NAFB, Colorado, absorbing resources of 9th Aerospace Defense Division. 
As part of ADCOM's new emphasis on defenses against the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile and Submarine Launched Ballistic Missile the mission of the 14th Aerospace Force it was responsible for detecting foreign missile launches, tracking missiles and satellites in space, providing space vehicle launch services, maintaining a satellite database of all man-made objects in space and performing anti-satellite action. Its former region of the Southeast being reassigned to the 31st and 32D Air Divisions. As the 14th Aerospace Force, the command supervised the Ballistic Missile Early Warning System network of radars along the Arctic Circle. Additional radars came under the command's control for the sole purpose of detecting, identifying, tracking and sending back to NORAD data on any SLBM. All man-made objects became numbers in the USAFSPACETRACK network operated by the 14th Aerospace Force. Topic. Air Force Reserve Budget reductions and reorganizations within ADCOM brought many changes and reductions in aerospace resources along with almost continual turmoil in the command structure of 14 AF during the 1970s. In 1976 the headquarters of the 14th Aerospace Force was inactivated, being moved to Dobbins AFB, Georgia and reactivated as the 14th Air Force Reserve. The mission of the command at Dobbins was changed to the supervision, management and support of Air Force Reserve Airlift Forces for Military Airlift Command and participated in such missions as Operation Just Cause. It was again re-designated 14th Air Force on 1 December 1985, and inactivated on 1 July 1993. Topic. Air Force Space Command On 1 July 1993, 14 AF returned to its former space role and became a numbered Air Force for Air Force Space Command, responsible for performing space operations. In 1997, 14 AF established the Space Operations Center at Vandenberg AFB in California for the 24-hour command and control of all space operations resources. In 2002, 14 AF became the Air Force Space Operational Component of United States Strategic Command. In 2005, 14 AF officially opened up its newly renovated operations center. The new command and control capabilities of the Joint Space Operations Center ensured unity of effort for all space capabilities supporting joint military operations around the globe. Topic Lineage Established as China Air Task Force CATF asterisk asterisk the 14th of July 1942 activated on the 14th of July 1942 absorbing equipment and personnel of 1st AVG Inactivated on 19 March 1943 Established as 14th Air Force on 5 March 1943 Activated on 19 March 1943 Absorbing equipment and personnel of CATF 
inactivated on the 6th of January 1946 activated on the 24th of May 1946 inactivated on the 1st of September 1960 activated on the 20th of January 1966 Redesignated 14th Aerospace Force on the 1st of July 1968, inactivated on the 1st of October 1976. Redesignated 14th Air Force Reserve, and activated on the 8th of October 1976. Redesignated 14th Air Force on the 1st of December 1985, inactivated on the 1st of July 1993, reactivated the 1st of July 1993. Asterisk authorized as a special air unit by President Roosevelt in 1941 and equipped with United States equipment, however not officially affiliated with the United States military. The first American volunteer group was formally disbanded on 4 July 1942. Each member was offered a commission in the United States Army Air Forces. Some accepted the offer, once again put on their American uniforms, and remained in China. Others later returned to the ranks of the Army, Navy, or Marine Corps but fought in other areas of the world. Eighteen accepted offers to fly for the China National Aviation Corporation. The equipment and those members of the 1st AVG choosing to join the USAAF were absorbed into United States Army Air Forces China Air Task Force on 14 July 1942 as the 23D Fighter Group, asterisk asterisk assigned to 10th Air Force. Topic. Assignments. Assigned to U.S. Army Forces, China Burma India Theater, 10 March 1943. Assigned to U.S. Forces, China Theater, about 24 October 1944. Air Defense Command, 20 January 1946. Continental Air Command, the 1st of December 1948. Air, later Aerospace Defense Command, the 1st of July 1968. Absorbed resources of 9th Aerospace Defense Division Air Force Reserve, the 8th of October 1976. Air Force Space Command, the 1st of July 1993. Topic Components Topic Air Divisions Eighth Air Division, the first of May nineteen forty nine to the first of August nineteen fifty. Ninth Air Division, the first of May nineteen forty nine to the first of August nineteen fifty. 31st Air Division, the 1st of April 1966 to the 1st of July 1968. 32D Air Division, the 1st of April 1966 to the 1st of July 1968. Topic: Wings. Topic. Groups 10th Aerospace Defense Group reassigned from 9th Aerospace Defense Division, 1 July 1968 Stationed at Vandenberg AFB, California Inactivated on 1 November 197,912, Missile Warning Group reassigned from 71st Missile Warning Wing, 30 April 1971. 
stationed at Thule Air Base, Greenland. Reassigned to 21st Air Division, 1 October 1976. Squadrons Topic Stations Kunming, China, the tenth of March, nineteen forty three Peixi, China, the seventh of August to the fifteenth of December, nineteen forty five Fort Lawton, Washington, five to six January, nineteen forty six Orlando A B Florida, the twenty fourth of May, nineteen forty six Robbins AFB, Georgia, October nineteen forty nine Gunter AFB, Alabama, the first of April, nineteen sixty six Colorado Springs, Colorado, the first of July, nineteen sixty eight Dobbins AFB later Arb Georgia the 8th of October 1976 Vandenberg AFB California the 1st of July 1993 Topic See also Southeast Asian Theater of World War 2 Burma Campaign Operation Ichi Go RAF 3rd Tactical Air Force Notes <laughs>